Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be covering the lore of the Season 14 Battle Pass. Season 14 is called Chronicles Reckoning, and it features some very raider type items and cosmetics. So over the course of today's video I'll be covering those items and cosmetics, then I will close the video out with a Battle Pass giveaway. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. Starting off, this Battle Pass is the Wraith Set. This set is connected to shamanism and the occult, showcasing a more paranormal connection. If the shrunken heads on the belt didn't tell you this already, then I don't really know how to help you. Some of the scrolls on the character seem to vaguely resemble the mass of Lars' squad, while others vaguely resemble the Norse mass used by the church. However, I honestly think that's a bit too far of a stretch to say anything concrete regarding Wraith's affiliations against the other factions. I just don't think that's a good way to judge it. Um, next, we have the riveted weapon skin. This skin seems to connect the seasons to the raider types. I mean, that's also another thing that's very obvious just by looking at it, suggesting that these are scavs, and this season is highlighting some people who use ramshackle gear or anything they're able to get their hands on and restore. And they also are likely separated from all the major factions of the Wasteland, since all the major factions use much better polished items. Draugr continues this battle pass with more of the occult. However, this one is more directly connected to the Norsemen, seeing as Draugr is a Nordic ghoul of sorts. This is much like the Wraith set does, slightly connect to the Raiders and the cult of Sutra, connecting the two. Um, perhaps they are allies, perhaps they just have similar ideologies, uh, whatever. Continuing to the badges, we got a better idea of what's going on here, with the badges being named Grease Boys. It seems a clear focus of this season is that they are, as I said earlier, clearly raider types, acting as scavs who take advantage of the chaos to gather their own supplies from other factions. These raiders also have a background of being mechanically inclined, which is conveyed to us not just by the badge's name, but also how all the gear seems to be welded or scavenged together. Continuing, I want to make a quick stop at tier 23, the CBRN Division Paratrooper Helmet. This division likely symbolizes an external power sending in a nuclear safe unit to try and recover the situation. Seeing as we already know in the lore that parts of NATO still exist through Ada and Ark, it is likely that it came from that faction. But that is honestly it. So to review, Season 14 focuses on a scavenger, raider class of the Wastelands. This faction may have slight connections to the church, or may have adopted parts of its ideology. This faction is comprised of various people of Norway, including mechanics, who create their own gear for themselves. And finally, Ark likely sent in a CBRN unit at some point, or some other post-war country. For those of you who stuck around the whole time, or just skipped to the end, here are some Battle Pass codes on the screen now. The top two are for Xbox, then PS, and then bottom is Switch. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao! Thank you.